right, everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to cut one of these electrical screws, uh, one of these wall plate screws that would normally go on top of something like a device switch uh, receptacle. So first, you're going to screw your device into the wall. Obviously, with the screw holes right here, uh, your screw goes through this hole and then goes um, into the box. And then your wall plate screw goes on to this screw hole right here with the threads and then it sc screws right in. But if you're running into a situation where you need to uh, work behind something like a tile wall or something like that in the kitchen um, and you want to screw this in, it's not going to work because obviously this screw is way too long and the threads on this only grabs about too long. So the secret to how to make these shorter is you go over to your strippers and then you find the screw hole that is the one that you're using. This is a 632. Um, if you're doing stuff with lights, those are 832s. So you're gonna wanna screw this in from the front side and how you know it is the front side is if you are screwing it in with the side with the threads and also should have the labels on there. Obviously you can see the 632 right there, the 832. If it's a longer screw and you screw it in from the back side, um, there's obviously no threads on the back side. And then when you cut it, whatever you cut off is gonna be stuck inside of the strippers and then you'll never be able to use it again um, unless you can get it out, which I've seen someone do actually. When you cut it, the back side has no threads, so it just falls right out, the piece that you cut. Um, so that's a big important step to make sure that you're cutting with the side with the threads and then the piece that falls out comes out the back with the side with no threads. So this metal piece right here has no threads on the back. This front side has the threads as you can see right there so that's a big step don't forget that um, so basically you just um, screw this in here as you can see I'm screwing it in here and then you're gonna want to pick the uh, measurement for your screw um, and you kind of have to guess on this a little bit but usually I think you kind of bottom these out if you're doing the if you're working with something like this some kind of hard surface in the background that won't have any give on it um, usually you screw this in pretty tightly and then um, it bottoms out and then that's just enough to grab the screw. It's better to leave these a little bit longer. If you don't have any extra screws, it's better to leave them a little bit longer. You can always cut this again and screw it back in and cut it again. Um, so I'll just show you guys a little example here. Um, and you can use a screwdriver, a screwdriver if it's really tight. Um, so as you can see, once you screw it in right here, um, it still moves so that's obviously not getting anything cut off of it let's just say i want to cut like a couple threads off of it and then there it is my handles aren't moving anymore so you're just going to squeeze on this until it snaps right off and then that's all you do as you can see now that the pliers move again we just cut that little piece off and then usually it, you're gonna have to unscrew it because it's going to be kind of tight in there um, because it kind of makes a little bit of a jagged edge um, the way that it just cuts it. All right, I got it going. Try to be careful not to cross thread this. So as you can see, once you start to screw it in, um, it's still a little bit too long on this case. Oh, it depends on when you put the plate on, so this could actually be pretty close. But once you screw it into a hard surface, you're not going to be able to screw it this far at all it's going to be pretty much flush with the uh, flange right there so um, that's pretty much all you're going to be getting out of it so if you have to cut it shorter put it back into the strippers and then cut it again um, but that's just how you do it all right so here is the screw right here and i did find the piece that actually fell off or the piece that we cut off and it's right there so it cut off about two threads um, and then you can see that the bottom of the screw is nice and flat so that's the way to make a nice clean cut is with your strippers and then you won't really have too much problem screwing it back in. If you use your diagonal cutters or something like that, it's just gonna cut it into a giant V shape and then it's probably never gonna thread back in. So you wanna make sure you make a nice clean cut, use your strippers and then uh, you'll be good to go. All right, everybody, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you're not already subscribed, please do so and hit the like button, I would appreciate it. Love to see you guys back in the next video and it would greatly help out the channel. Don't forget to check out the description down below for anything else. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Share this video with your mothers. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace.